Hello everybody. I hope you had a good day. Uh, today we are going to draw something a little bit simple. Uh, it's going to be a, a ranch or we can call it uh, a spanner. So uh, make sure your workbench is set to part design. Click create new. Uh, let me remove this so our window is big. And then create body, create sketch, XY plane. Uh, click OK. Uh, let's go straight into selecting regular polygons. Give it a value of 6. Click on that. Click on that center tool. Anchor the polygon there. Go to radius. Click on the radius tool. Give it a radius of 0 0.5. Uh, draw another polygon. Give it 6. Anchor it at the center, rotate it around, make sure it's touching that line. Give it a, a radius of 0 0.5, which was the same. So I should have something that looks like this. Uh, let me scroll down like that. You should have something that looks like that. So let's go ahead and trim out those inner lines. Uh, that, that, that that trim 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 all these inner lines trim okay after we're done with that just uh, delete out those two lines uh, set up uh, I would set up a constraint horizontal and vertical constraint so from there to there and then from there to there then we shall do a horizontal from there to there and then from there to there Okay, so they should be the same 0 0.1 to 0 0.12. You can see they are all the same, right? Okay, we are done with that. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw uh, fillets uh, at the edges. Uh, where you see those points, we are going to draw some fillets. So go ahead and click the fillet tool. Click that and that. That and that. Let's go around. The only problem is, as you can see, FreeCAD doesn't uh, leave this, doesn't give the fillet uh, the same value whenever you're clicking. It keeps on changing the value. Some CAD programs, once you use a value, it maintains that same value until you change it. Okay, so let's go to uh, Radius. And we shall change this to... 0 0.035. Uh, let's copy that because we are going to reuse it. So that value should be something like a 0 0.035. So let's zoom into every fillet and change that. So you can come and check in here to just be sure every fillet you put in has the same value. I think we are good. I don't see anything changing. I think we are good. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and use this, which is going to be length. And this is going to be uh, 0 0.11 for every length on here. So 0 0.11. So copy that. Okay.
Okay, looks like it was okay. Everything looks fine. That looks fine. So uh, we're done with uh, cross training the inner part of our ranch. Let's go ahead and draw another circle. So go ahead and click there, click out, I'll give it a, a radius constraint, I'll say 0 0.7, something of the sort, okay? So, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw uh, lines, this should be completely straight lines. Like that. And then we're going to trim that inner line, trim that, and trim that, okay? So we have something of the sort. So let's go uh, down. So this is going to be the upper part of the ranch. So that's okay. So let's go down. And we're going to draw uh, another circle. Click on the circle tool. And we're going to draw another circle here. And this circle is going to be a 0 0.3125 in radius. So 0 0.3125. Okay. And then uh, we shall give it a distance from the center which will be something like 4.625, and that will be for the handle. Uh, let me just move this so you can see the center. So vertical distance from there to the circle. I'll give that 4.625. Okay. After we do that, uh, we're going to draw uh, two horizontal lines. So I'll click there and make sure this line is straight. Not anchored to anything, but it has to be really straight like that. Okay. And then Draw another line. Also make sure it's uh, straight, not anchored to anything like that. Then after that, we shall do uh, we shall apply a constraint, uh, which will make them perpendicular to this circle. So click on that circle and that, and then this and that. Then trim off that and that. Let's go back up. Let me remove this. Hold on. Okay, let me first remove this error window so we could have a good view. Uh, let me change it back to that so we could see exactly what we are doing. Let's first do that. Okay. We are going to trim off this, that, that. Yeah, there are a lot of constraints on this panel, so 
just bear with me. So, and also that, hold on. Hold on. Why did we put points there? Okay. So we need to trim off also that. Okay. So once we look at our spanner, uh, we we'll still have something of the sort. Okay. So let's put a radius of 0 0.025 uh, on these edges. So we're going to click on that, that and that, and then that and that. And then give it a radius constraint of 0 0.025. And also that, 0 0.025. Okay, let's zoom out. So that's how our spanner is looking like. So uh, let's make it a, a little lighter uh, by creating a hole in here. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw another circle at that point. And we shall give that circle a radius of 0 0.125. 0 0.125. And then draw another one around there. Give it the same radius. 0 0.125. Okay. And then we are going to space them with a horizontal distance and that horizontal distance will be 2.5 inches so 2.5 inches okay so after we're done with that let's just pull out these so you guys can see them I can zoom out so once we are done with that I can now draw uh, horizontal lines Let's make sure they are really straight, like that. And then draw another one. Make sure they are really straight. And then what we are going to do is we are going to do, select that perpendicular to or tangential, like that. So making sure they are perpendicular to both. Okay, then we shall trim off that excess. Even that internal. And after that, we shall provide a horizontal constraint to that, which is 2.5 and another horizontal constraint to that. Okay. So we can move that distance that and that there. And there we have it guys. So uh, that's our uh, outline for our spanner. So uh, go ahead and click on close. So if you now zoom in, you should see uh, that's how your span is looking like. So we just need to create uh, a pad and that pad, we shall give it a dimension of 0 0.25. That's how thick uh, you want your uh, spanner is. Uh, so if you want it to be uh, really uh, thicker, you can increase on that, right? Uh, but I'll give it a uh, one for 0 0.25 uh, inches. That's a quarter an inch. And there we are. So that's our uh, spanner tool. As you can see, uh, all constraint design, you can machine it or uh, 3D print. So uh, that's it, guys, and have a good day. Bye for now.